Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit! gonna try something else I do have a car key uh, so I've never done this before what I'm about to do uh, no stop stop Jennifer. just hang on hold still uh, car key get in the car get in the fucking car bitch no Jennifer the car the car the car get in the car She's just like having like a fucking spaz attack. Oh my god. Okay, well. Uh. But, um. My game is obviously severely glitching out. Okay then. Yeah, just trip over his body and let's fuck off then. Oh shit. And yeah, he's getting back up. Yeah, the car key obviously did not work at all. So we're gonna keep going. I don't know why she uh, wouldn't use that. Let's just keep running and maybe he'll fuck off eventually. Come on, run, 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 run. Maybe he'll fuck off once I get back into the main hall. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Says a man, we don't have enough time for your shit. Ah! Come on, get out of my way! Get out of my way! That yeah, trip over his body, let's keep going. Don't have time for your BS, says a man. Come on. Yes. In there, in there, come on. Uh. Steep crack in the wall. It's crumbling. Yes. I uh, can't get through there. Do I have anything at all? No. There's nothing up here I can get. Okay, well, let's vomitos then. Maybe I can hide under the bed again? Um. Maybe, maybe if I keep going this way, just go all the way back to the beginning. No, he hasn't fucked off yet. Okay, well. Ah! Okay, that door's locked. Let's go upstairs. He doesn't be following us back here, so maybe... Maybe we are, uh, maybe we're gonna make it this time. I really hope so. I really, really hope so. I would like him to fuck off soon so I can get back on with my life. Because I can't seem to do any of the puzzles while there's a chase sequence going on. So, uh, let's just go upstairs. Okay. Come on, Jennifer, let's go. So, kid, that's not gonna work. Crap. I, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, shit. This house is against me. Oh, God. Chandeliers are falling off. Why couldn't the chandelier have fallen on top of his head, you know? That would have made my life a lot easier. I would have been happy with that. I would have been okay. But no, it could have fallen on his head. This game hates me. 
I don't know why it hates me. I love it so much. I'm so loyal to Clock Tower. Okay, so I'm pirating this. Ah! Not fair. Not fair at all. Oh my god, did he finally fuck off? He did! He fucked off! That's amazing! And now I can and do some things over here. Oh my god, that's great. He finally fucked off. I'm so happy! Let's grab this brick. Pile of trash, wood, and concrete, and we have a rock! Awesome. I love rocks. Let's go ahead and, uh, real quick, open this up. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this wall here. And here we are in the courtyard. <sighs> it's not so bad out here. It's quiet, calm, peaceful courtyard. Lovely... Lovely pixel art on everything. This is nice. This is... Oh, this is very nice. This is relaxing. Look, there's a beautiful, lovely pool. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is... This is better. This is a lot better, I think. <sighs> Trees. A pool. Oh, what's... What's in here? Go open that door, Jennifer. Let's see what's going on in there. <sighs> this is this is so much better. Maybe I can find a place to rest. That would be that would be nice. What's this? There's a plank here of some sort. Oh, I guess I can't grab it. I wonder if I could have run back here if I'd have bothered opening up the hole in the wall earlier. It's very interesting. Hello, sir? There's somebody in here. Uh, eh. Who are you? Uh, uh, f food. I think I have some food. Um... Uh, won't let me give it to him. Simon B Barrows. This man is Barrows? Ah, uh, so I gave him the food already. Okay, so I gave him the ham. Guess he won't talk to me. He's no longer looking at Jennifer. Oh shit. What is he looking at? That's what I would like to know. What is he looking at? Well, we're just gonna take a rest for a moment. So, Mr. Barrows is not looking to invite little girls to his orphanage, or to his home, because he's obviously being kept in a cage and being starved. What I want to know is, who's locked him up in here? Why is he in a cage, and why are we all here? Hmm, that perfume bottle. It's very... Okay. Okay, let's... Okay, Jennifer. You could rest for a little bit more. That's fine. Okay. Let's continue to ex investigate the Barrow's Mansion. Let's go this way. Cause I think this is a shortcut back to the uh, the other uh, the other end of the house, and we can continue to explore and try to solve this mystery.
poor Mr. Barrows. Maybe we can find a key and try to help him out. Let's keep going this way. <sighs> okay, well, I'm glad that we finally got Bobby to uh, fuck off and leave us alone. I want to go back into that room where he exploded out of. There's uh, some things there that I'm very interested in looking at. I don't know if maybe it will like let me do it this time. It will be quite interesting to see what we can figure out in the West Wing now that we're not running for our lives. Because, by the way, I'm really tired of doing that. I feel like I ran so long. And I ran. Yeah, anyways. I hope that he doesn't, like, come out of nowhere in the next room because, you know, I would like to make some progress in this game today. Instead of just spending all of it running for my life with my hands flailing behind my head like a maniac. So what's in here? Let's go in here first. Oh, it's a bathroom. Let's uh, wash our hands real quick. La 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 la. Washing our hands. Oh, the water's running. Well, that's good to know. Anything in here of note? What? Oh! Stupid cat. No, Jennifer! She's like, screw you, cat. I want to know what's behind the shower curtain. Looks like the shower is working. So everything's in, in working order aside from the stupid cat. My boyfriend would, would like this. He'd be like, oh, it's a kitty. We're going to pet the kitty real quick. The creepy red-eyed kitty. That was not okay. The last thing, the last time something jumped out of a box, it was Scissor Man, and I was not happy with that. I wasn't happy with that at all. So we're going to ignore the the very very rude kitty, and going to move on with our lives. Stupid cat. I hate animals. I do. I hate animals almost as much as I hate people. It's for truth. Ah, uh, this is the ceremony room. I don't want to be here yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, people. But soon. Soon. So that's where the ceremony room is. Okay, it's next to the bathroom with the cat in it. The black cat. I don't think I can go in that room. And you know what? I'm okay with that. There's some rooms that you just don't want to go into in this mansion full of crazy people and crazy goings on. I mean, seriously. This house is fucking wacko. We have a crazy midget running around with a giant pair of scissors. Demon possessed dolls. Crazy cats. Ceremony, uh, you know, a ceremony room with, like, fucking occult sigils on the floor. A weird library with, uh, ritual about a bizarre ceremony and some sort of a horrible spell and prophecy. There's just, it's just, it's just craziness. Just unadulterated craziness. I think I want to go upstairs and go back into the other room. Come on, Jennifer. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, I think this is where I had to leave before, before Bobby started chasing me. That's that's the name of Scissor Man, by the way. His name is Bobby. I'm not going to reveal his last name, because that would be spoilers. And if uh, if you guys spoil it for anybody in the comment section... I will come to your house and punch you in the face. It's a fact. I'll just just punch you in the face. Because that's really rude. Don't spoil the game for people who haven't played it yet. 
Especially because this, I don't know, I'm really proud of the Clock Tower fan community for keeping some of the many secrets of this game hidden away and trying not to spoil it it's too much for people who want to play it. I would say that this is probably one of the best kept secrets of survival horror. Because normally when you talk about survival horror, people think of Resident Evil or... What's this? But when people think of survival horror, they think of Resident Evil or Silent Hill. But you know, I think of Clock Tower, because this is definitely my favorite. There's something back there. Maybe I can use something to break that down. Let's go. Come on, Jennifer. Break it down. Beat it in. Yeah! Take out your anger on that wall! Oh my god, it's amazing. The wall gave way. There's a room over there. hasn't been used in ages. The air in this room is stagnant. What was going on in here? That must be where the wall was painted over. Obviously there was something that was used in this room. I'm good, definitely going to be doing a second playthrough of this because this room actually, in certain moments, has probably my favorite and most emotional scene of the game. But we're not going to get that one in this playthrough, apparently. But that's okay. There's a lot of different things that we can do. Basically, the idea is that with the changing of the random events, you have to play it multiple times to get the full story, to get what's really going on here in the Barrow's Mansion. So... We're going to beat it once, and then we're going to play through it a second time to try to show you guys exactly what's going on and try to clue you in on the, uh, the just the pure horror of all of it. And it's some intense shit. It is some intense shit. This game actually has a really, really good story. And I get really attached to Jennifer as a character. I, I have a lot of admiration for her as a horror protagonist. I think she's uh, really strong, I think she's very smart, and I like her a lot, but I like I like strong uh, heroines in horror games. I mean, she's not, I mean, she's, she's just not like some military space marine with a lot of guns, but what she does have is she's very courageous, obviously. I mean, she doesn't just lie down and die when Bobby finds her. I mean, she... I mean, she pushes that guy over, she runs past him. Yeah, she trips over his body a few times, but, you know, if there was a big giant pair of scissors lying in the middle of the room, you might trip too. So we're not going to hold that against her, are we? I don't think so. And, you know, she's she's very clever. Um, I found a few scenarios in this game where I got away from Scissor Man just because I, was, I looked over something and she figured out a way to save herself from it, and I was quite impressed. So, you know what? Three cheers for Jennifer, because she's fucking awesome. I would feel a lot more worried if I didn't have Jennifer with me. <gasps> no! No! Um, dang it. I know I need to be in this room, but I am just not even going to bother with him right now. I saw you there at the ceiling, Mr. Scissorman. No. I don't have time to deal with your shit. We're gonna go into another room for now. Yeah, this room. Before we go there. A single bird is left in the cage. Can't turn on the light. Yeah, let's let the bird out. Let him out! Some hanging crow corpses. They've been decapitated. What's this? Is there a key? Can I let the bird out? 
What is it? A corpse of a crow. There's a key here. Got it. Let's let that crow out. Come on. Let's save the birdie. Got the cage key. Come on, birdie. We're gonna save you. We're gonna set you free. Well... Let him go! Let him go! Come on! Do what I tell you! Jennifer! There's a birdie. You have to save it. You have to save the birdie. There we go. Save the birdie! Save him! Set him free! Fly away, bird! Fly away! I hope I find a way out of here, too. Oh, Jennifer, you will. We're gonna get you out of here. Everything is going to be okay. I promise. Don't you worry a thing. I promise we're gonna get you out of here, Jennifer. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be fine. Now, because of that, I think I know how to handle dear old Bobby here. Fucking jackass. What was that? Looks like part of the ceiling fell. There's all kinds of music here. It's a record player. It's unplugged. Hey, Bobby. Don't think I don't see you up there. Ceiling Scissor Man is watching. Ah! Ah! Shit! Oh god, run! Oh my god. I have like no health. She's like in a fucking blind panic now. Okay. Oh god. Don't worry, I know how to handle them now. Though. Come on, Bobby. Come after me, if you dare. Yeah! Run away, Scissor Man. <laughs> fly, my pretties! Fly! Fly! <sighs> I helped it escape. I guess... That's right, we saved the birds. Screw you, Bobby. Screw you. That's what you get for lucking of pigeons. Or crows, rather. They will come after you. And I, the mighty Jennifer, will send my army of birds after you. That, that part is so amazing to me. I, that's actually, I was so looking forward to doing that. I, I absolutely love watching it every time. But now, Bobby's no longer in here, and we can continue to explore. Oh, <sighs> God. Seeing the eye, like, on the screen and seeing her freak out, it's just... Oh, God, this, it's fucking terrifying. What's behind this curtain? Hello, curtain. Please don't be Scissor Man. What's this? A staff rests in this pot. I got the staff. Awesome. Hmm. What's in here? What's in the cupboard? There's only junk inside. Huh. So it doesn't seem like there's anything else to do in this room. Or is there? Huh. Wait, what's in here? There's all kinds of music here. It's a record player. Let's turn on the light. The switch is broken. What the f Ow. 
My ears hurt. Okay, so there's obviously some sort of, like, witchcraft shit going on in here. We're gonna leave. We're, we're just gonna leave right now. I haven't had that happen to me before. Oh. My. God. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. I... I do not break for demonic record players. Just no. You can fuck off right now. Okay. Uh, not really sure how long I've been recording. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video right here. And uh, when we come back, more Clock Tower. See you later, everybody. Miss Mary?